is this in some way a film that wanted to be made? Because I understand there were a set of circumstances that fell into place around you finding out about the book and then yeah. the, um, the direct, becoming the director. Yeah, it was one of those things that felt meant to be. I mean, I read the book and I fell in love with it. And I haven't wanted to make a film for a long time as a director and I wanted to make this one. And then I read that Francis McDormand and Dee Dee Gardner had the rights and I reached out to them and the same day they reached out to me. So there was, and that sort of strange magic followed the production all the way through where there are just many coincidences or things that fell into place beautifully and it, it was a kind of euphoric experience in that way. But with it, uh, but it in, in other ways, it, you did still have to work at it because obviously the voice of the narrator changed yeah. from start to finish. So obviously there was some work and some discussions had over that. Yeah, absolutely. I think that for me in the book, I love the narrator being August. It's through his minutes. That's what you're reading when you read the book. And there's something beautiful his, about his perspective in the book. And then in the film, we realized the combination of images and voice and the intimacy of that, it needed to be one of the women who had actually experienced these events firsthand. And then um, one of our editors, Christopher Donaldson, had thought, what if it's the youngest person in the room? And Dee Dee had thought, what if it's to the baby? And then, you know, we, we all had sort of this, like, kind of brainstorm of ideas, and they all kind of came together to make this very big shift in the film. And that was indicative of the whole process, is many ideas were many people's ideas, sort of people standing on each other's shoulders and finding their way to the idea that we ultimately went with. And how was it to get a cast and producers who were so on board with the project and so keen to tell the story? It was amazing. I mean, I felt incredibly supported. I felt uh, trusted and I felt pushed to do my best work. And how does it feel to bring this to a London Film Festival audience and what do you hope they take away from it? It's wonderful being here. I haven't been here in 20 years. I used to spend a lot of time here. I'm thrilled to come back with this film specifically. Um, I think the thing I most hope people come away with is both a sense that you might enter into a really difficult conversation and be willing to change your mind, to actually be able to hear points of view other than your own. And also, because I think that's what the women in this loft have to do, you know, their life depends on it. And we see so little of that in conversation right now. We're all kind of shouting at each other online and liking each other's shouting. Um, so I like that it, there's like a rich democratic process of a conversation that happens. And I hope that people come away thinking about what kind of world they'd want to create, not just the one they want to tear down. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys!